Hi everyone, in this video I want to show a possible solution to a problem where on Linux distributions such as Ubuntu or Pop OS, you might have a hard time of um, generating a shell scripts for IDs like IntelliJ IDEA. Let me show you the problem first. If I open my terminal and I will navigate to JetBrains toolbox, I'll go to settings and enable option to generate a shell scripts. You can see that it showed me that the location of the shell scripts is my home folder dot local dot bin. So I navigate cd dot local bin and list all the content. I don't see an ID executable here. So one might say that it's a purely permission issue where toolbox doesn't have access to this folder. But even if I go to, let's say, home folder, and I'll create a folder where toolbox will have a complete access to, let's say, idea shell scripts, and I'll give it a full access by saying chmod777, I'll enter my password. So now uh, everybody has access to this folder. I'll go and I'll change and I'll type idea shell shell scripts uh, I'll say apply and if I go to idea shell scripts list the content uh, there is nothing and if I go to restart the toolbox it did restart uh, go to settings um, I'll switch the toggle off and on uh, see what do we have and there is nothing so the problem lies here is that I installed IntelliJ via snap package so in those snap packages run in a virtual environment where we don't have a direct access to them from a command line however there is a solution where we can run those snap packages via the snap command in the terminal. Let me show you what I mean by that. So first of all, I will go and I list all the snap packages that I have. It should be vice versa, snap list. Uh, as you can see, I have IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate installed here. So if I go ahead and type snap run IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate hit enter and as we can see idea was able to run successfully it is nice that snap can help us run intellij idea through the snap uh, package manager however it will be even better if we can pass some command line arguments saying which directory we want to open and it is possible by simply passing this argument right after this command so if i type the same command snap run IntelliJ idea ultimate and pass dot, which means the current folder and open. I will say trust the project. And as you can see, IntelliJ idea opened our uh, folder that we specified. I'll close it right now. As we've seen, everything works as expected. Now I wanted to put those, I would say, fairly long line into a smaller one uh, that the one that Toolbox will create for us and be able to run it everywhere. For that, I will go to uh, user local bin folder and I will create a new file. I'll use the bin editor, but you can use any editor you like. I'll type idea and I will type a shebang line, user bin environment bash. I will type our command, I'll say snap run IntelliJ idea ultimate. Then I will accept the parameter as the directory we want to open. And now we'll redirect the output to nowhere. And I want to redirect errors as well as to standard out. Uh, and I want to run this program in the background. 
I will save this file and I will navigate to my home folder just to test that script works as expected. I will create, let's say test folder one and I will say idea open test folder one. Huh. I got a permission denied because I probably need to make this file executable chmod plus x user local bin idea let's try again i'm going to trust the project all right and as we can see it worked so one more little test I'll do that it definitely opens what we need. I will create another folder, test folder uh, two, and I'll navigate to this folder and I'll open ID here. As we can see, it worked as expected too. So this pretty much concludes my video. I hope it was helpful to you. You can also manipulate with the script in any manner you want. You might want to redirect output into log file. So if IntelliJ IDEA crashes, you know what happens because now you actually don't. Um, hope it helps you to run IntelliJ IDEA faster with the command line interface now. See you in the next videos.